Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm just coming to show you my week 4 project, design team project for Poodle's Paper Craft. Um, it is live on her blog now at um, poodles.co.uk. Um, I'll just apologise in advance to my followers, I have been um, not around this week, I'm extremely ill. <laughs> Um, I've just about managed to do my DT project and, and get it live and that is the only crafting that I've managed to get done this week unfortunately. Um, so this is what I have created using the Live Love um, Grow stamp set. Again, um, I haven't actually got it on me because as I started filming the little table at the side of me that I have everything on ready for the camera collapsed <laughs> it fell over so everything is in a big pile on the floor I could have cried <laughs> so um, the Live Love Grow stamp set I have shown it yet um, this is the fourth week so I'm sure you know which it is by now I'll leave a link below to my blog so you can go on over and have a look there as well and also if you do go on poodles.co.uk um, there is my project there plus the other ladies as well um, so over the last four weeks you've been given quite a lot of different ideas how to use this card um, and the, the, the idea of the DT team is very good because it does show just how versatile these sets are now I have created, it's very very difficult to show my card on film flat it's a stepper card so it goes like so, so that you've got tears. And it, you can create all sorts of effects with these. This is a very basic one. Um, I started with an 11 inch card, which are folded in um, <coughs> half at five and a half. And then this section here is folded in half again. And then it goes down. I, I, do, I don't have my ruler to hand cut. Remember things are measurements. <laughs> oh, I'm a mess, aren't I? Let's have a look. So... I started off with an 11 inch card and then each of the sections, that one is uh, 2 and 3 quarters and that one is 2 and 3 quarters, that one is 1 and a half, that one's 1 and a half, 1 and a, one and a quarter, 1 and a quarter, so you, you just Fold it until you've got the amount of folds that you want. You can make your card longer. Basically, you can make these to fit whatever design you want, whatever sizes you want, whatever width you want. All you're doing is folding it. You just make sure that your folds are done so that you can see each fold after each other. Okay, so that you can see, you know, the, the steps of the card. And um, what I've done is I did line each step with blooms and bliss paper and i have inked with um garden green and the stamping up sponges and then i used the live love laugh uh, live love laugh i keep wanting to say live love laugh it's live love grow <laughs> and i used quite a lot of the foliage stamps there we've got this one here we've got this one here and here and here and what i've done is i have stamped them in garden green and pepper zars and then I fussy cut them out with my own bare hands. <laughs> I don't think I've done a bad job. And um, one tip when you're fussy cutting is to ink the edges. And then whatever colour card you fussy cut, you can't see it around the edges as much. And it gives you a better, cleaner look like you've cut it better <laughs> than you have. So ink the edges with whatever colour you've used. There's a good tip. And so I've just, this is on um, foam dots. Uh, this one is as well. And then these are just placed on with um, snail. Okay, just to create like a border. To this oval shape, which is, I've used layering ovals from Stamping Up to Cut Out. That image, which is from Fairy Celebrations, um, which I stamped in crumb cake. And then I used my Mini Marvelous markers to colour them in. It's not fantastically coloured. I'm not a big colourer, <laughs> but I do enjoy it. And I've used various shades of pink here. I've used uh, Blushing Bride and Sweet Sugar Plum. And then I've just used um, Garden Green on the Toadstool and Pepper Zars 
on the grass and um, and then I just wanted to just give a little bit of height around this oval here um, it would have been nice with a, a nice decorative frame round but I don't have one um, so I, I decided to add a little bit of height with these ferns which are from the Botanical Builder die set so I just added a couple of those just one in gold which I actually had lying about from another project and I just stuck it on um, just to give it a bit of a lift and then just having just green green isn't my favourite colour but I don't think I've worked bad with it this week I've also used the um, Papillion Potpourri uh, both the stamp and the punch and I did use crumb cake um, just again on um, they are on glue dots and the the 3D I wanted to have a fairy garden effect and I don't think I've done too bad uh, I think my colouring could be better but I think the general idea for inspiration perhaps for somebody to have a go at is there so take the inspiration and run with it and um, I'd love to see some more fairy gardens if anybody wants to copy the idea and perhaps it's better at colouring than I am on a circle of like a two year old but I might enjoy it so I'm not too bothered um, I've, I've ended up having some fun with this stamp set. I've got one more week to go um, because it is a five week month. So I will be back next week with another one. So thanks for watching. If there's anything that you like that you would like to purchase or you want to discuss further, leave a um, comment below or you can email me directly. The, my link again is below. Thanks for watching and take care and bye for now.